All right, this will be kind of a quick video. Just gonna do, uh, just gonna do the key bindings, shortcuts to things like play and volume and all that stuff, and also shortcuts to open applications. Um, first things I did, uh, I'm using the battery widget from that from this one here because the other one had issues with the, my my power supply directory. So I just copied the section here, and uh, if we go up to uh, battery. I'm just pulling the battery widget from that one using vicious instead of lane. There was an issue where the uh, if we just uh, vim the uh, uh, bat an issue with this directory here. It was all screwed up. I, I tried changing it to Bato, but it just all this stuff didn't work for me. So if you have issues with you know like I'm gonna unplug this and just do a quick reload. How it's showing now that it's dis discharging if you have an issue with it, like say an AC when it's obviously not, you might want to try the vicious instead of lane because it depends on what your. Uh, if we quit out of this and we ls the sys class power supply, uh, there's supposed to be a status in here that outlines between these two here for lane to work, and if for some reason mine's not reading these correctly, so it would just give me some screwed up numbers. Uh, the other thing I did was um, on the file system, uh, I have it looking at the home directory. So you see the 33% is my home file, or home directory, not the not root. Naturally goes to root, so if we just look at uh, FS. And right here at the bottom, you see home, so if we go 50 down. Well, this was looking at root, so I just changed it to home. Uh, another thing I did was... Uh, go back and we uh, then themes power arrow theme dialogue. I changed it to deja vu sans mono because if you remember the clock wasn't lining up correctly now it does uh, it just needs a mono space um, font and so does the file system now it lines up so all right uh, let's see anything else. I don't think there's anything else I did. Oh, I do have the uh, I do have the Gmail opening up now. Um, I'm gonna go over here real quick, hit it, and obviously it's bringing up my Gmail account. I don't want to show any, but anyways. So did that. Uh, all right. So now let's go work on some key bindings. So we're going to go down here to key bindings, and I'm going to use my key bindings from my other, from the one I've been working on for a while. First thing I'm going to do is bring in the also mixer and brightness controls. So I'm going to do that right under key bindings here. Let's put it down here. See if that works. And I'm going to save it and reload. Hopefully that won't have any problems. Okay, it didn't. So, um, brightness up and brightness down. Uh, what is that? Uh, LS is class. Um, backlight. Uh, Intel. Uh, so it, it adjusts these in here. Uh, brightness I believe and uh, so then I go to uh, home oops uh, home and we go scripts and we cat uh, brightness up so basically what it's doing is it's taking this brightness number reading it as a level and then I'm adding, and so whatever your, uh, so if we cat sys class brightness or backlight uh, intel brightness, it's going to take this number. Uh, sometimes if it's in like a thousands, then you want to do a plus or minus a couple hundred. If it's like one to ten, it's plus or minus one, and you're piping that into that file and it overwrites it. So if you hit your brightness up and down key, 
which is this XM86 mod, brighten this up, then it'll pipe that in there. So, uh, I don't think, let's, let's do um, ETC pseudo ers. Uh, oops. Um, um, ETC pseudo ers. I think it's this one. No, it's not that. So it's um, etc pseudo dot d. Yeah, well, anyways, I don't think we need to have any kind of special rights to do that for some reason at this level. Uh, the rest of it is going to also mis mixer plus or minus 10 MPC toggle. Uh, so if we save this, reload it, I think I already did that, then uh, we should be able to hit like play. Yep, okay. And we should be able to do uh, lower volume. Yep, so it lowered the volume there. So those work. Um, the next thing we're going to do is. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Those are already in there, those are stock. Widget pop-ups. Uh, you know, I don't know if I have. I don't think I have a Yahoo in here, so I'm not going to do this. Show calendar. Should be able to do that. Widget pop-ups. And we're going to go below in. So we're going to find in. Do it right here. And let's go ahead and save. And so we have uh, show calendar should be Alt key. Remember that's Alt, not uh, Mod key. So Alt A should show that. Oops. No, that's not working. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Let's try Alt H. No, that didn't work either. Okay, so those aren't in this, so we can go ahead and undo that. All right, so never mind those. Uh, Yahoo weather prompt boxes. That's already there. R needs a control left and right. Uh, I don't have a plus or a forward or back. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't have a forward or back uh, hotkey on my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to put it right underneath this just because it's kind of where it was, uh, the music control stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and save, reload, and we'll go ahead and do a play again. Yeah, so that's just control all left and right. Okay. And now let's go... Uh, Programs. I like, you know, I use the heck out of this. So uh, I wonder if there's a Z, Control Z. Um, so, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, oh, yeah, I always forget about this mod key P. Shows a, a little uh, menu up here. It's kind of cool. I uh, always forget about that one. Uh, let's see. These are all my shortcuts to programs. What key Z? Oops. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Didn't want to copy or cut. So, uh, con Control C, copy. And we'll do that under here, I guess. Save, reload, and we'll go ahead and bring up, I don't know, uh, Thunar. Uh, Thunar was what? E for explore. So yeah, that works. Alright, anything else we want to copy over? I don't think so. Well, that should do it for now. So uh, yeah, so there's your keyboard shortcuts.
So I'll go ahead and end this one here. Talk to you later.